Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, I've been working with a plugin uh, that I thought was well worth sharing recently. It's called Divi Zoom or T Divi Hover Effects. And I've built a lot of these sort of hover boxes in the past using, you know, CSS and coding them myself. Divi Zoom's a plugin or well, the actual plugin is called Divi Image Hover and right now they've got it down to $15 which is quite a deal and I'll put my affiliate link below this video. But they make it so easy for you to do these sort of hover effect boxes and they've got all kind of different styles here with sort of border and text reveals, different title reveals, alignments, again hover effects with borders and this is all done very easy with modules and they got some more modern ones as well I think they call this the advanced ones where they sort of got a bit of a parallax zoom type effect and borders coming in and zooming in and what have you And they've got a sort of shutter effects and pixelated effects and throw-ins I think they call that horizontal shutters slide-ins uh, border effects and they've also got a very cool image switch where you just hover over the image And it reveals another image there. Like I say, it's there's I think 250 of these effects, and I've built this lot this morning in about 15 minutes, something like that. And literally, if I enable the visual builder, once it's loaded, let's just go down there and delete this one. And we'll put in another one. And Divi comes as standard with most of these. When you install it, you'll have find this Dimmy. Divi image hover module right there. Select your hover effect. I usually find it's better to do this after I've set the image. So we'll go to content. I'll add an image first. And it really doesn't matter which one. I guess I'll use the same one as I used last time, which was that one. Now the image is in there, you can uh, select your hover effect like I say there's huge amounts to choose from there's the default one which is the one you see on a lot of places where it just puts in an overlay and of course you put some content in there title prefix And once you put that in, uh, obviously it appears at the top there. And of course, put in some content and you can add images. You can add anything to your content that you want there and style it however you like. And if we go back up to our hover effects, that's the regular. They've got classic sort of styles where you can choose from all these styles here. As you can see, that zooms out to the right. And then they've got the modern styles, which they've given them a name. And they sort of do various things from parallax and zooming and things like that. And again, there's an awful lot of them to choose from. And they all do some pretty amazing things. Then they've got their advanced ones. Blocks rotating left. and like I say there's just a, a whole bunch this saves me hours and hours of um, CSS coding doing this sort of thing so there we are there's a brief overview of the plugin and we'll do a series on this and we'll start building some of these like I say and like you, you see they're very very easy to do 
and for $15 I thought that was a very very good investment so I bought it <laughs> so anyway I hope you enjoyed that and found it useful once again this has been Jamie from system 22 and webdesign and tech tips.com thanks for watching have a great day